Hi, today we are going to make hamburgers in the brick oven and also homemade hamburger buns. So the dough mixture that I'm making today for the hamburger buns is a 40 minute recipe. I'm going to show this one because a lot of people don't have a lot of time to make stuff up. This one's the, the quickest one, so we're going to do the 40 minute bun recipe. Now I'm just going to mix it together and what I'm trying to do is form a dough that looks kind of shaggy in appearance. This is going to be a wet dough when we're done with it. And it's going to be sticky but not too sticky where it will release from your fingers when it's at the right stickiness. You simply use the palms of your hands and just do it like this or just I kind of push it with the heels of my hand and then turn it as I'm mixing it together. So what I'm looking for with the dough is I want it to be sticky where it wants to stick against my hands but it also releases. If it was still just really sticking and I couldn't get up my fingers, then it needs a little more flour. But this is just about right. So I'm just going to form it into a little ball. We don't have to let this rise in the pan. That's what's so wonderful about this recipe. So I'm just going to press it out into a kind of a disc shape and take my pizza cutter. And then I'm going to roll this more into a log shape. What I like to do is I just make a little mark and make sure that I'm pretty close. So now I'm just going to cut these into five pieces. I take a ball and I like to have a smooth top on these. So I pull it down until there's no creases and then put my fingers on the table and I roll in a circular motion. And I'm pushing in on the sides at the bottom but I'm not smashing this down as I'm rolling. And what I'm looking for at the bottom is it not to have a hole in it. So it's got a little hole in it right now. Uh, we're going to get rid of that so it's nice and flat. So when, you, when you're done with it, it has a nice smooth bottom. And it turns it into a pretty little ball shape. And then we're going to put it on an oiled pan and repeat the process. And again, we're just, we're not letting these rise, they're just setting for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to cover it with a little towel. So I have a 12 inch cast iron skillet that I'm using for the buns today. And I need to coat it with some oil to keep the buns from sticking. So I'm just going to put a, I like to put a little bit on the sides too. And then I put it into the brick oven for a few minutes to get it heated. So next, it's been 10 minutes now that this dough is, has been sitting, so I'm going to take the towel off. You can see that they've risen just a little bit. And now I'm going to take these dough balls and put them into the skillet. I usually start in the middle. So I use an egg wash on top of the buns, and this gives it a nice shiny coat. I've tried it with and without. It looks much better when you take the time just to put the egg wash over top of it. They just come out so much prettier and shiny. So with the heats that we're using, what I use is a good pair of oven gloves. It's very important with hot temperatures that you use good gloves. So what I do is put these on. I have to actually put on a second pair of gloves. So I just slip these on over the top. And then I don't have to worry about burning myself because it is easy to burn yourself if you're not being careful. You're not using the right tools. Let's check our buns. getting a little bit of brown on the buns now. You can see it. That egg wash just makes it such a pretty shiny 
brown color when it's all done. The other thing you have to get used to when you're cooking in a brick oven is I'm not so much worried about the bottoms and with the buns burning. It's more that I'm worried about the tops getting too overdone. And that's why I'm watching them and making sure I'm rotating them because you're cooking with not just the heat from the bottom, it's also from the sides and from that top too that you're cooking with. And as they're cooking, you start to see them almost trying to tear away from each other. Gets a little bit stringy between them. That's just part of the cooking process. And that's what you want to see is that the buns are starting to pull away from each other. And I've brought these out just a little bit closer to the edge because I'm just trying to control the amount of brownness that we're getting on top of the bun. So now we're at 12 minutes. Our buns are done, I'm taking them out of the oven. I don't hold on to that skillet real long because that's close to 500 degrees. So what I do is use a grate that I can put it on and then from there I can pick this up and then I won't be subjecting my hands to getting burnt so easy. So there's the buns. So the buns, really, I don't really worry about them burning so much in the bottom. It's really the top that I have to watch out for. And you can see the color of those being in the brick oven for 12 minutes. Now that we got our hamburger buns finished and they're resting, cooling off, we're gonna make our hamburgers. So I like to keep it pretty simple. So now I'm just going to mix it all up. All right, that looks pretty good. I just take a handful of the hamburger and I set them on the tray here. But again, I'm trying to make about 10 of these to match the number of buns that we made today. Here's our 10 meatballs. First, and then what I normally do is I put them back into the bowl and then I'm going to make each one into a patty. So I smash it. We're going to use the Tuscan grill to cook our burgers on today, but I do like to put just a little bit of oil on it before I use it again. I'm going to get the oven prepped and ready for the grill. So I'm down to coals now, which is what it, where I want to be. And what I'm going to do is use my paddle and I'm going to bring some of those coals up to the front. And I'm going to set that Tuscan grill right over top of that. And I'm just going to give it a couple minutes to let it heat up before we put the burgers on. I'm going to leave it in there probably four or five minutes and just let it heat up. And then we'll put the burgers on. All right, let's check the Tuscan grill. So what I'm going to do is pull it forwards. And then I'm going to start putting my burgers on there. These are going to grill for three minutes. We're going to get a nice little sear and then we're going to flip them over and cook them for about three more minutes. another three minutes then we're going to take one out and test it with a little digital temperature thermometer and again we're trying to get it to that 160 170 range and then when it's at that point they'll be done we left them in an extra couple minutes it's at eight minutes now
Thank you.